Two people have been killed in the past 13 months trying to cross Woodward in Birmingham. The ensuing frustration over trying to make sure it doesn't happen again has bubbled over and is now on the governor's desk. Our Mara McDonald live in Birmingham tonight. Mara, this is what we're, we're talking about, the crosswalk at Woodward and Forest, correct? Jace, let me show you what the problem is. Take a walk with me. Number one, you can see how fast the traffic is going. Number two, you can see that this crosswalk is striped. You can also see that it's got a pedestrian crossing sign. But Eric, turn our light off. You turn the light off out here, no one can really see that this is a crosswalk. It's a problem. Clinton Baller may sit on Birmingham City Commission, but he ordered these see me flags out of his own pocket and put them up not as a commissioner, but as a regular citizen. It's scary to cross. If, you, if you're a mom with a baby carriage or somebody with even a minor disability who has to get across the street, it's frightening. Two people have been run over and killed here in the last 13 months, and Birmingham's assistant city manager decided to take her concerns over MDOT to the governor, sending her this letter asking her to please intervene here. Birmingham doesn't control what happens on Woodward. It's a state road. It's totally the un most unsafe place I've ever crossed in my life, and I moved here to be near downtown and be in a walkable community. A call to MDOT tonight got us some answers. The agency is in the process of doing a pedestrian volume study here, but is planning on putting up a flashing warning signal within the next two months. For now, Joan Schloop will gladly use the CME flags and hopes the state hurries up. I'm in an age where I can't run across the street, and there are many people here who can't. And a lot of my neighbors don't ever even, we drive over and park on the other side. Back here live, MDOT tells me depending on the outcome of that volume study, there's a possibility they'll actually put a pedestrian signal in here. If that's approved, that would be something that would be completed in 2022. Jace, Kimberly, back to you. Yeah, and Mara, there's a lot of spots there too that are tricky. Is this bigger than just that one crosswalk? It is bigger than this one. I mean, this, this one crosswalk is a real problem for Birmingham, but the overall issue and what these city commissioners get complaints about the most is how fast the traffic is mm -hmm. on Woodward, how much traffic there is on Woodward, and that people simply do not feel safe crossing in any of the more visible crosswalks. Um, they just don't, going from one side of the city to the other, that they worry that they're going to get run down. Yeah. Back to you. A lot of lanes to cross. Uh, Mara, thanks.